Captain, so they can take a picture of it. You all just hang on. We're finishing a conversation. Roach in, in your teeth. It's a real roach That's in the amazing. teeth. That's the truth. Right. Oh, hey. How you doing We're out so there? so glad to see you. It's a wonderful day. I just wanted to prove to people that you and I do, after 19 years, still speak to each other. We do. It's amazing. <laughs> we still have conversations. You know, life is good. It, it is? Really, it is. It's good. You know, it's been a great day. The sun was shining. The sky was blue like it was used to be when I was a little child years and years ago. It was gorgeous. Today. You can't see. How do you know? I know. I can sense and feel. What, why? And I can tell a cloud from a... Why is Andre sky? taking pictures of us? People are taking little, pictures A little red flash up there. It's really nice. I'm glad you... Get that witch in here. Yeah, bring her on in here. Woo! Honey, that was a rough takeoff. She Looks must like belong she... to the pilots union. <laughs> <laughs> oh! You just cold cocked her there on the old uh, well, here, blender. Since, since I'm so blind, you can read it. This means it's probably <laughs> real bad. Dear Laban and Larry, I work hard for the money. <laughs> <laughs> Felt like an old song, an old uh -huh. rock and roll song done by Donna Summer. Right. I work two full jobs, time, two full-time jobs. I bag groceries and work in a tanning salon. <laughs> I look good. My girlfriend says she wants me to cook her a meal. I really want to impress her. Can you give me some ideas, or should I just show her my tan line? <laughs> I figure either way, she's going to get a surprise. Thanks for your help. Chase Bartall of Williamsburg, Virginia. Oh, well, how about that? All right. It sounds like a teenager to me. Uh, the answer is yes. Yeah, we can give you some nice, easy recipes uh, that you can do a, maybe a whole meal with and surprise your girlfriend. I got a great one today. I'm going to tell you, this is so neat. Whoever sent this in? Who sent this in? Doesn't say. All recipes sent in today by Nancy Mills of Winchester. Winchester, Virginia, up near my right. hometown. You know. And the... <laughs> Burial place. place. Oh, burial Nancy place. Clyde. Nancy Clyde. We've been to her grave. We actually have we a have. photo. I wish I'd have we'll, known that. We'll bring that, that in. picture in and show it to you. We Look do. We have a, cute. a shot of Everybody us kneeling. Everybody knows how much I like my little Mickey stuff. Uh-huh. That they're beautiful. just wonderful. Well, I'm doing some kind of carrots. Mm. They're sassy carrots. Sassy I'll keep carrots. up with me, Hammerstrom. <laughs> I just walked right off of his camera. Oh. Did you see that? <laughs> no, Where I was he? Watch Where I've was seen he? TV. I don't want to watch it again. <laughs> All right, this is saucy carrots with water chestnuts, and it's real good, and I've got a pound of carrots already peeled and sliced up into carrot-sized slices. And they have to cook for about 15 minutes until they're crisp tender. Any fool can peel a carrot, use a vegetable peeler, or you can use the back of the knife like this and scrape them. Or if you're really lazy and want to save a lot of time, buy a pound of those little finger-sized carrots called carabits. And they're just wonderful. Are those they work those just perfectly ones? well. Yeah. They, How do they grow them like that? They're, they're a special variety. Oh come on. No, they are. I thought no, they were carved they out of big ones. Put them in a machine and roll no, them around. No, they don't. They're they're actually those size. Where's that picture of those carrots? I, <laughs> I want to see if that's They on peel it. them that way, but that's they're honestly little carrots. You know, Mike Carroll has visitors today, and I think he's a little sh I think he's a little nervous. I know. Because he didn't make me test Doris's microphone. Oh, I know. <laughs> And they're, they're all over there going I, like this because they can't hear. I, 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 <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to do something called moose in a minute. And I, I actually have some on my hair. Uh -huh. you today, among other things. <laughs> among other things. And are you doing Italian meatloaf? Okay, Miss uh, Doris is going to be here a little bit to charm us with some uh, with her famous Italian meat. Right. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why I'm so tickled today. Well, now, I'm go gonna, home. I have to spend some time chopping, so let me chop, and then you can go ahead. And let me just show All everybody right. what I'm going to I'm going to chop some fresh parsley. This came from the grocery store. You can get it all year long, or if you're like Larry, you got it growing outside the house, and you can get it there. And this is fresh ginger, and you can use a quarter teaspoon of powdered ginger, the dry kind, or you can use a teaspoon of fresh ginger minced. And so I'm going to be mincing now for a few minutes. You've so. been mincing for years. <laughs> I, well, get over Mincing through this show, at least. Well, the first thing you got to do on this recipe is make up some nice good old coffee. You don't need an awful lot of it. You need it to be right strong. It is. None of that decaf stuff. You're going to heat that up. Oh, excuse me. Did I do that to Jim again? Uh huh. I did to somebody. It's about uh, three tablespoons, two or three tablespoons of that. And then go out and milk old bossy. <laughs> Get yourself some milk. You need about three quarters of a cup of milk. This is the neatest recipe. 
I don't know who thought of this one. Whoever thunk of this one, it, it was, was Nancy. a real good one. This is a real quick, wonderful, neat dessert. The only thing that worries me just a little slight bit about it is it does include two raw eggs. Oh. Cooked. So consequently, we're going to cut away from the show at the end of the program today so that you won't see us fall on the floor when we die when of we salmonella. Die salmonella. Well, the hot, thank you. Hot, hot milk Mahatma over here uh, has uh, mentioned that uh, that's one of the reasons that you scorch the milk and you do. And uh, also you heat up the, uh, the, uh, the uh, coffee. And so I would suggest that you go pretty fast with this. And, and so what I'm going to do is I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to do this on top of the stove. I'm going to put it in the microwave oh. and heat it up. That's what I did yesterday. Well. I got back from a long trip over the holiday weekend, and I just wasn't in the mood for cooking cheap stuff. And so, so what I did was... What are you doing? <laughs> Get away from me. Cook time. Go, baby. So I just do it in the microwave. You can scald milk in the mi microwave. Sure. It's not going to hurt anything. And the secret ingredients today, don't look, boys and girls, is uh, just a little bit of rum. Oh, this must be not alcohol much. day on cooking cheap because I have to use wine. Oh, don't mine. mention it, good heavens. We'll have people course, writing I... letters, having well, conniption they write, fits. You know, well, they'll just have to have it. This stuff cooks out. You won't even taste it. Well, this doesn't cook course, out. Thank, well, thank, well, thank goodness the rum is in it because that will kill the, the botulism. You know what? Egg. That's a good point. I'm glad you or brought the salmonella. that See, Rum has its uses. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yes, anyway. it does. Uh, so I'm just waiting for my milk to heat up, and there's not much to see when that's going on. Well, I'm just... And now back to Chop Chop McGillicuddy. Well, you know, now I'm demonstrating one way to mince, and that's with your knife like this, and you just keep going till you've got it real fine. You could grate it on a ginger grater if you have one, but this is just as good. Got to go another minute. It's not scalded yet. This is just a lot of, this This is actually good exercise for you. Well, you know that parsley smells mighty good. Yes, it does. So does this ginger. Yeah, a little bit of that. You know, I'm one of the few people in the world that adores Well, parsley. I know. It, and it clears your breath, too. By the way, I have Not a, that yours is necessarily all that bad. I do have a bone to pick all with right. you. Do you remember a couple of years ago when you and I got into it on the air about the uh, word end of, and you swore that everyone calls it on Eve? Uh -huh. I'm going to tell you something. You and I are going to have a walk down the sidewalks of Roanoke one day. We're going to talk 200 people, and you will not find one person that pronounces as Andiv. Well, that's because there are a lot of ignorant people around. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here, folks. And he includes me in that, I'm sure. I'm certain. Even Harold's laughing at, at the ignorance thing. Well, this ought to be ready soon. I'm sorry to take so long, but you know this recipe doesn't take but like 40 seconds. Wretched. Here we go. Oh, that's hot and bubbly now. But it's not, yeah, I guess it's, it's all right. Now, I'm also going to heat up uh, a couple of tablespoons of dark coffee in there, black well, coffee. Well, I'm going to melt two tablespoons of margarine, margarine oh. in the frying pan over here so that I can use it in a little bit. And my carrots are doing just great. Well, what is it you're making? Carrots with water chestnuts. Okay. And I've got a can of water chestnuts, and be smart, buy the ones that are already sliced. They don't call it cost any different. I feel the same way about uh, olives. Yeah, no use going to all that extra trouble to get whole ones and slice them. That's ridiculous when you can get them for the same price. And, but i got to drain them out. That's a draining experience. Well, but Certainly. doors come in in a couple of minutes. Well, I, why I, is it that, that it's taking so long to scald? Well, I don't know. That's an old wimpy power thing we have down here oh. at Blue Ridge Public Television occasionally. I don't know what that's all about. Sometimes it works real fast, and sometimes it just doesn't work real fast. Oh. And, <laughs> for, well, maybe oh. it's only at 70% power. Well, maybe I haven't that set is... it properly. What is, where is the po oh, power level? Yes. Let's stop it. Cancel. Oh, modern machinery is such a problem for him. <laughs> well, it, it should be full power when you put I it in a, there. Well, okay, well, let's see what the power level was. Well, that isn't working. Well, I don't know. What does that mean? PL oh, now he's Now he's got it really it's messed full up. Power. Full power. Full power. All right. 
cook time is there and there. All right, now there it's going. And <laughs> hopefully the milk will be scalded and we can get on with it. Uh, <laughs> my carrots, I think, are, are going to be finished here just a few minutes. First time. It, we've people. had to kill time in the middle of the show. Oh, no, it's boiling oh, no. over. Well, let it boil. There you go. Well, this goes together pretty quickly once I get finished. Well, all so this does mine. Well, imagine if I had to do all this stuff on top of the stove. Well, that's true. Be. Well, I'm not sure it would be any slower than what I'm doing right now, to be honest with you. Oh, it's really going. 30, 33 seconds. <laughs> Operators are standing by. <laughs> oh, no, please don't do that. Somebody <laughs> might send something. not do that. Send us your recipes. We, we're, we're always glad to have them. There's an address at the end of the show. Now, this stuff's gotten cold. I think I need to heat it back oh, up Oh, no. Boy, we'll be here. I oh, rest your oh, it's boiling. Oh, no, yeah, just I, I should say it boiling is boiling like crazy. Well, I am going to hit, zap this one more time, then I'm going to get on with it. I promise <laughs> you. <laughs> well, I'm and sorry. when he pours that hot <laughs> liquor into it, it's liable to explode. All right, you take your just life do in your something. Hands. All right, well, what can I do? All right, my carrots will pretend they're done. I suspect <laughs> they are, and I got to drain them out. Hey, oh, people, the only cooking show in the world where we actually took 20 minutes to do the carrots actually in real time on the air with nothing well, else wait a to minute. do. I can't do that. Well, that isn't going to work. I will have to scoop them out. All right. And right into the frying pan with the two tablespoons of margarine. Well, that's pretty. Doris is mad at me because I took my own colander home, the strainer, and didn't bring it today. She's real strict about well, that. Well, she is, I know. She's like a librarian. And she has to be. I mean, yeah. <laughs> she had, uh, talking about the grandfather clock. Right. She had the police show up at my house one weekend to get some pots and pans I'd taken home. The first that. stove I ever cooked on in this studio is still here back in the back. Is that, that so? That was really? 30 years ago. And it probably still works. It probably does. Well, this is about a pound of carrots. Were you doing a cooking show? Was I was doing a children's show oh. with a mouse puppet, but we cooked. <laughs> with a mouse puppet. Now, it helps if you wobble this around a little bit. <laughs> Camera people are having a time today. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I'm sick of this. I've got to do something. You get yourself some semi-sweet chocolate chips and it calls for six ounces so it's a half a bag of this being that this is a 12 ounce bag if you use half of it and dump it in there <laughs> my math skills uh -huh. my math skills are incredible and then two eggs two cackleberries put those in there this doesn't look good chocolate and cackleberries but i'm telling you give me a time to get it done here it's better than you think it's going to be that goes in there. And put that scalding milk on top of those eggs. And that coffee on top of that. And be very careful when you measure out the, the rum. And uh, that's it. That's the whole recipe. Bye. You're kidding. And you whip it. I can't believe the blender worked. It does. It's amazing. The blender actually is working. And you want to do that a little bit because you want to get all those little chocolate chip things all busted up in there. Have you ever seen such a simple dessert in your life? And what happens is you cool it for a couple of hours. And uh, as you can see, I have actually tried to put my spoon down there. It's beautiful. And it smells pretty good, too. It really well, does. That's wonderful. Now, I'll show you some other fine things to do with it here in just a minute. All right. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to add some things in. Then we'll bring Doris in. We'll add her in. Uh, do I'm we going have to, to use uh, yeah, a, a tablespoon of freshly chopped parsley in the end with these carrots. And I'm going to use a teaspoon of minced fresh ginger and a little dash uh, about a little less than a teaspoon of thyme and if i had fresh thyme i'd use it but i couldn't find any you so, say you're fresh out of thyme yep so that's uh the dried thyme and you mix all of those together and then with three tablespoons of a white wine could you get me a knife darling and oh that's three 
And of course, you kids will have to go to mom and dad's supply for this. But the alcohol does cook out of it. So, and this is the carrots. And so Doris can come in and come on in here, Doris, honey. Let me see if I can find your mic. <laughs> I forgot to get her mic out. I had to do um, an Italian meatloaf, and I don't know if you can see it. Um, now, be careful. Don't move around too much. I'm liable to run this microphone up your nasal passages. <laughs> okay, I, and um, in a large bowl, I had to put a half a cup of cracker crumb, six ounces of tomato paste, a half a cup of finely chopped onion, three-fourths teaspoon salt, one and a half pounds ground beef, two eggs, a fourth a cup finely chopped green pepper, and a dash of black pepper. Well, you mix that all up, and then you take a filling of a half a cup of cracker crumbs. What is this, a cake? No, it's a, it looks like it, doesn't it? <laughs> it's a meatloaf. Oh, okay. It takes a half a cup of cracker crumbs to three ounces chopped mushrooms, 12 ounce cream stock cottage cheese, and one tablespoon of oregano. Well, cottage I, cheese Yeah, and, and I couldn't, I, I couldn't find cream sauce, so I <laughs> put it in, the blend, in uh, my little food processor and made it like cream cheese. And uh, I would rather put ricotta cheese in if you're using, you know, yeah. as an Italian meatloaf. Have you tried but this before? No. And, and so we don't know whether we can actually taste that cheese. Based I, I think it, and I think it'll taste more like, you know, an Italian cheese. I don't think you're going to taste it as cottage cheese because you can get it out. Open that it, baby up. Really? Um, Let's see if we can nice see that cheese in but, there. Uh, let me see. No, you just oh, you can. There's think, a whole layer. Yeah, where, who's got it down yeah, there? Oh, that, that looks great. So it, it shows up. And... Um, like I said, I, I, if you can't, don't like cottage cheese, I think you could put ricotta cheese in it, but with the um, uh, oregano in it, I don't think it's going to taste like cottage cheese. But it looks pretty good. And it took an hour, and a half, an hour to bake at 350. Okay? Oh, it's real pretty. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's it's gorgeous, mm -hmm. and so are you. <laughs> okay, here's what we're going to do now. You take the, uh, the, uh, the mousse, and you put it in a little bowl, and then presentation is everything, as you know. Mm. Take just a little bit of this whipped topping and put on top of it, like so. And I decided that today I would get real fancy, so I'm going to take a little, just an ordinary, old common old candy bar. And you can use any kind of chocolate that you want. And let's just do a little thing of chocolate on and put somebody's eye out with this. See, just a little bit of that on top. Isn't that pretty? People think you've gone oh, the extra mile. Pretty. You know, we need to give our recipes. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Let me uh, do mine. Saucy carrots with water chestnuts, a pound of carrots. 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 Peeled and bias cut a half inch thick. A can of water chestnuts. That's an eight ounce can. Three tablespoons of dry white wine. Two tablespoons of butter or margarine. Three quarter teaspoon dried thyme crushed one quarter teaspoon ground ginger or a teaspoon of freshly minced ginger and a tablespoon of snipped parsley. Now, isn't that pretty? That's just, I wish I had a camera. Give me yours. <laughs> so anyway, moose in a minute. Now, you'll have to admit that is just a neat little recipe. It is. I mean, if you only have a little bit of time and the people are showing up, all them people are coming in, and you need a quick recipe for uh, summer, especially. Isn't that beautiful? Six ounces of semi-sweet chocolate bits, two tablespoons of rum, three-quarters cup of scalding milk, three tablespoons of hot, strong coffee, and two eggs. And you blend it all up in a blender on high speed, and you pour it into serving bowls and chill for several hours, and you can garnish it with uh, whipped cream or some kind of whipped topping. And then you take the leftover candy bar and you eat that. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do in a couple minutes. Where are we? I'm over here in the oh, dining no. room. Oh, no, oh, you're kidding. No. Well, Doris, come back in here. Yes. Come back in here. I think you need... Let's see. I'm going to sit down. No, no. Watch Dor this. Doris and I are going to sing. Right. <laughs> we have five minutes. We're going to sing the impossible dream. Right. To dream the... Well, no, maybe we're not. <laughs> well, so, it's, you know, it's Valentine's Day weekend and President's Day when we're taping this, so I would suggest that you two should sing the national anthem. Right. No, 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 no. The word. No, I tell you what, let's do. Let's play a game. I'll be George and you be Martha. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
stupid can we get? Anyway. Oh, no, probably really stupid. Well, you're sitting we in my chair. I know. <laughs> Call me Goldilocks. <laughs> Someone is definitely sitting in my chair. All right, let me pull my Mickey Mouse. Well, don't tail run into with the wall you. like you did oh, last I'm... week. You almost put the whole now, West End out. It was several weeks yeah. ago, and I certainly did almost do that, but I'm not doing it right now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is near the end of the show, but we seem to have a lot of time left, so watch how carefully we chew our food. <laughs> well, that's nice. Let me get you some of this uh, home style, fresh from. We Smith need, Mountain Lake. We need my, my young cousin, Miss Sarah Carden, up here to, to do return thanks for us, which she's Wait, famous now, for And we doing. do, of course, have time right. for a rather long <laughs> prayer, although I don't, think we, I don't think we have one, quite honestly, but be quite honest with you. Well, don't we have any biscuits or anything we could eat here with this meal? You know, I don't think there's a thing on here that is on my approved diet. I'm but sure that's all right. Is. I'm going to eat it anyway. Well, I'm going to try, Miss... Uh, look at this. All this cheese. Well, you know it's got to be good. Is there any... Uh, <clears throat> is there can't any ketchup in this? Can have tomato paste. Tomato paste. I want to try these mm. carrots. And i got to tell you. Miss mm. Doris has a winner on her hands with this. Ladies and gentlemen, these carrots are outstanding. Even the people that don't like them would like them. Well, you know, I'm not real fond of carrots except raw ones. I'm not real fond of cooked ones. But yes, they are good. They are really excellent. Well, that's... Uh, they really are. And they're much better than those ones that I say served you at my house that time. Uh -huh. that I, I did in my blender, which uh, gave up its... What was that? There's some kind of a seal the underneath. Seal, it pulled the, the seal thing. right up. The carrots were so Chewed hard. it up. That when I when I hit uh, mix or whatever cut, mm -hmm. it literally pulled the seal up from underneath and and put it in throughout all of my carrots. Remember those carrot puffs? Mm -hmm. They were delicious. And I didn't know a thing about it until Johnson went home, and I was cleaning up the dishes and I found all these little rubber band looking things all over <laughs> all over his plate. Well, well, you haven't tried my mooch. Now I know I, I want to right now. Is this the Bullwinkle <laughs> recipe? <laughs> the Bullwinkle right. version of them. Now, the you know this is not going to be good for me, but I'm going to have some anyway. Well, you tell me that that isn't a good one-minute recipe. Oh, that is really good. Isn't that wonderful? That is wonderful. I, I'm telling you, if it takes me two more minutes, I'm going to explain to you about this one-minute recipe. Well, Nancy, you have <laughs> sent in three wonderful recipes. Nancy, that's it. You're hired, baby. I mean, any mm. fool could do these, but I agree with Doris. Uh, you know, maybe she put used uh, cottage cheese because where she is, she can't get ricotta. But most places with large grocery stores now carry ricotta, and you can even get it fat-free. You know, I'm from farm country up in Shenandoah County, mm -hmm. and I was raised around a lot of good old cooks. And every one of them make lasagna with cottage cheese, not with, I, I don't think yep. they know what ricotta cheese is. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, we that. always use conscious. And let me tell you, if you were like I am with have terrible heart trouble and diabetes, you could still have these carrots uh, leaving the wine out or just using a little bit. And even the meatloaf you could do with turkey and with uh, no-fat uh, cottage cheese or ricotta cheese, and it would all work out just fine in modest proportions. The mousse, however, is hopeless. I don't think we could actually have that any way you, you went with it. But we could try sometime. What do you mean we couldn't have it any I way you think, went with it? I don't think, you know, that all of those things would fit for a, a, no, a, a so. heart-free diet. I, I don't, don't know. So. Maybe it could. If it could, you just shouldn't I'm be sure you'll it. let us know about it. Oh, no. You don't. just shouldn't be eating it. Just stay away from Even it, Even if it is good. Behave mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. Lip smack. Well, fortunately, uh, I have some slides from a recent vacation, uh, no, 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 which we're now going to show again. because we've run out of virtually everything to do and say Including that we Including pride. So thank you very much. Please look for us uh, no, next he's, time. Jim's saying stretch. He's saying stretch. Oh, no. What Jim's, is this? He's a stretchy kind Either of guy. Either that or he's talking about two spiders <laughs> getting together. <laughs> oh. oh, thank heavens. Seven Finally. seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. This is really one. good. Find out more about Cook and Cheap by visiting our website, 
at cookandcheap.com. Cook and Cheap is brought to you by Kroger. Quality, selection, variety. Season 8.